we're gonna do our presentation on work. work. <laughs> Before we can begin, we need to talk about a few things. First, energy is the ability to do work. Both work and energies are scalar values, meaning that they have magnitude, but no direction. And to top it all off, work and energy are measured in joules. Okay. There are two definitions for work. The first is a change in energy, and the second one is the product of force in the time of distance. When we say work being done, in physics we mean that work is being done on an object. kilogram pumpkin is moved horizontally 5 meters at a constant velocity across a level floor using a horizontal force of 3 newtons. How much work is done in moving the pumpkin? First, we need to decide which formula we're going to use. Since we're given both the force and the distance, we're going to be using this formula. We do not need the mass. We do need the force and the distance. The force given is 3 newtons and the distance given is 5 newtons. What will the work be when we multiply 3 times 5? If a person is carrying a 12 newton object across the distance of 2.5 meters, how much work is being done? Our next topic is about how to measure work when gravity is involved. The equation is W equals mg change of H. Well, the W stands for work, M stands for mass, G stands for acceleration due to gravity, and change of H is change in height. So, if you wanted to find the work, you'd have to find the mass of the object, its acceleration due to gravity, and the, change, the height difference from where you started and where it ended and multiply them all to find work in jewels. Thank you for watching! Shout out to Tyler and Kesa for being Times Magazine's number one best voted couple of the year. We support you. And Modi should have kissed Ka Kesa. Okay, I'm editing that out. I'm editing that out. <laughs>